truth as to why he's sleeping and why he's panting like that. Look at it, you can see he's breathing very, very fast. Is He's clearly got a meal somewhere here. Or he has had a meal at some point relatively recently. Look at that belly. This is magnificent. Uh, for those of you for whom this is the first meeting with Mr. Tingana, he is the dominant male leopard of most of the area that we drive around in, so we see him probably the most often. He shares a territorial boundary with a massive male called the Anderson male. And there he is snoozing away. He's panting like that because his belly is so full and that digestive process is sort of breaking down the meat very, very quickly that he's just eaten, so he's hot. He's hot and he's panting and his belly is so full that he barely has room to breathe. And Zylo in Hong Kong, welcome to the Sunset Safari. Lovely to have you on board. I think it's the first time I've, I've personally heard your name. You want to know if leopards will, or big cats will pant to cool themselves down in the same way that cats and dogs do, especially dogs. And yes, absolutely they do. So if it were a slightly warmer day, if he perhaps was lying in the shade with the sun beating down upon him, he may well start to pant and you'd see his tongue sticking out because of course these big cats can't sweat. They've got to cool down in other ways. Our leopards are slightly more resilient to high temperatures than lions. And I've seen Tingana, bizarrely, I mean, they, it's so funny, you read all of the books and they'll say the chances of a big cat moving around in the heat of the day is very, very slim. I've seen Tingana wandering around when it's well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There he goes, lapping away. He's clearly very, very thirsty. He's found himself as a perfect puddle on the edge of the water. I can't, I don't think we should get any closer. I think we might risk getting stuck, which is what I would prefer to avoid. You can see him battle scarred, scratches under his eye, and of course that large one across his nose. And that's just the price that a dominant leopard pays for being dominant in an area, for ruling over an area. I suspect though, that that scar across the top of his nose, and we'll never know for sure, of course. I suspect, though, that that was not caused in battle with another dominant male leopard. I think that was caused in a slightly different way while he was mating with one of the females. Uh, Tingana is much sought after in the leopard world, and there was a stage where a Karula, Shadow, and a female leopard called Tani, who is Shadow's sister, were all seen mating with him in a very short period of time, and I think that's where that scratch comes from. And I think it was probably Shadow, since we know that he was mating with her around the time that he acquired that scratch across his nose. I could be wrong. It could be that he was mating with Shadow and he actually got into a fight with another leopard to defend her from him. And that's a possibility. But leopard mating can get very aggressive and often the female will turn around and smack the male in the face. I've seen Karula get hooked, get her claw hooked into Tingana's skin before, resulting in much growling as they attempted to disengage, disengage from each other. 